kwa mwana mfalme wa amani kombozi wa ulimwengu mpigieni Mungu kelele za
Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Jesus is truly born. This is a day of joy. A day you should rejoice. 
we have come because the child is born. Amen. It is a Friday, but we have been forced to come to church to come and see the child that is born so that we may rejoice Pamoja. together. Amen. That's why the servant of God was given that word. You are truly in salvation. But who are you walking together with in your salvation? Who are you walking together with? Because you are, if, if you are saved and you want to continue in salvation you must walk even the preacher the way he preaches you are walking with him you are walking with him where is he going you are walking with him you are walking with him why because all these people are servants of God who is above who are preaching to people the words of salvation so you are walking with them when he preaches you are walking with him you are walking with him you are walking with him wherever he goes you go with him you are walking with him why? because these people are called they are called servants of God of the most high God who are preaching to people words of salvation Amen. So are you walking? You are walking with a person who says words of salvation. Hallelujah. From here, in your following him, Hallelujah. You go out with a lot of pace. Because from following him, you are discovering things that are not wrong. The way he goes. The way he goes. It's like a lamp. It's like a lamp. Hallelujah. It is like a lamp. So we have all come so as to be able to listen. Amen. This is a day of great joy of coming to see the child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why all the wise men were given the understanding. They saw the star and knew it. Hallelujah. So that they knew the child is born there. So they never had questions. They began taking gifts and putting there. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So this is a day of great joy. We are coming to celebrate the the birth of the child. Amen. The greatest secret is for you to follow the preacher. Where he goes. What is he saying? You go with him. You follow him. For what reason? Because these are servants of God. The most high God who are preaching to people the word of salvation. So you are walking with them wherever he goes. What is he saying? How is he talking? How are you walking with him? You are walking with him. Wherever he is, and you are also going to reach there. Amen. So we have all come so as to listen to the word. And the speaker is ready. He has already been given the word. So we don't know what he's going to tell us. Amen. All that he has already said, that's what we can remember. But at this time, when he stands up, we don't know exactly what he's going to talk about. So there's no reason of delaying him. Let us give him a chance early so that we may be able to listen what has been given today. Amen. And then we follow him. We pursue him. Go with him where he goes. You'll be benefit, you get the benefit from that. Amen. Amen. So let us all bow down our heads. Let us bow down our heads. So that we may give him a chance early. Baba nina kushikuru mwenyezi mumba mbingu na inchi. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako bwana nina kushukuru mwokozi mwema kwa wokovu wako mkuu asante Mungu wa mwanzilishi kwa ule ujumbe ambao tayari bwana umeuweka ndani ya mnenaji bwana nina kushukuru kwa ibada ya leo baba toa ifungue ibada hii mikononi mwako 
nikiamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi uko pamoja nasi ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mokozi wetu amen asante bwana Yesu amen asante bwana Yesu amen kwa hivyo tulia mahali ulipo so become where you are neno laja the word is coming mungu anafanya upya god is renewing siku baada ya siku day by day anafanya upya neno lake is renewing his word siku baada ya siku day by day karibu pastor rimba welcome pastor rimba karibu welcome Uja unene na watu. Come and talk to the people. Watu wako tayari. People are ready. Wanataka kusikia. They want to listen. Utawaambia nini? What are you going to tell them? Kile kile kilichotumwa. Exactly what I've been saying. Waambie hicho hicho. You tell them exactly that. Waambie hicho hicho. You tell them exactly that. Sisi tuko hapa. We are all here. Sikiliza. We are here to listen. Karibu pastor. Welcome pastor. Karibu sana. Welcome very much. Karibu sana. Amen. Na wasalimu katika jina kuu la Bwana Yesu. Amen. Leo ni siku ya furaha. Today is a day of great joy. Kama ulivyosikia, as we've already heard, na kama wana kwaya walivyoimba, and as the choir members have already sung, maana mama akizaa mtoto, because when a mother begat a child, huwa ni furaha kubwa katika nyumba hii. That is a great joy for the whole family. Hakuna anayehuzunika. There isn't anybody who is grieved. Na ndivyo ilivyo dunia nzima siku ya leo. And that's how it is in the whole world today. Furaha kubwa iko dunia nzima. Great joy is in the whole world. Wa kwanza ni wewe na mimi. First one is you and me. Sijui kama moyoni unasikiaje. I don't know how you feel in your heart. Kwa hivyo ni shukrani kubwa kwa Mungu so wa mwanzilishi. We are so grateful to the God of the founder. Kwa maombi ya mtumishi wake Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. For the prayers of his servant Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Kwa kuletwa pamoja kushiriki pamoja furaha hii ya siku ya leo. Who has made us to assemble together to partake in this joy. Ya kuzaliwa mwokozi wetu Bwana Yesu. Of the birth of our savior Jesus Christ. Mwisho wa Mungu Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Servant of God Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Ana furaha nyingi nyingi sana. Has a lot of joy. Tena sana. Great joy. Tena sana. Great joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeye yeah, ametuma salamu rasmi. He has officially sent his greetings. Kwenu ninyi na wote walio nje. To you and all of them who are outside. Anasema ya. He says. Anawatakieni. He wishes you. Christmas njema. A Merry Christmas. Na mwaomba mwaka mpya wa baraka tele tele tele. And a new year of blessings of plenty of blessings. Tele tele. Abundance of blessings. Christmas ya amani. A Merry Christmas. Na baraka nyingi 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 nyingi. Abundance of blessings. Abundance of Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Je, muna furaha salamu hizo? Are you happy for those greetings? Amen. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Salamu hizo za mtumishi. Those are greetings from the servant of God. Asante sana kwa kuzipokea. Thank you very much for receiving the greetings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Furaha kubwa. It is great joy. Tumetembea tangu juzi. We have been walking from the other day. Tukifuata nyota. Following the star. Imetufikisha. Now we have arrived. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ni mwaka. It is a year. Tangu 25 mwaka jana. From the 25th of last year. Paka leo. Up to date. Ni mwaka umepita. That is a complete year. Ukihesabu. If you count. Kutoka 25 Disemba mwaka jana. 25 December last year. Paka leo. Up to date. Ni mwaka mzima umepita. That is a complete year gone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mimi husema. I normally say. Kila nikiamuka. Every day I wake up. 
That date, I say I have completed a year. Because from that date, that last year, up, up to day, I've woken up on 21st of that month. That means I've completed one year. So I tell Jesus, thank you for enabling me to complete a year today. So this date of today is from last year, the same day. So it, it is great joy that God has secured all of us. You and me who have been made to see this day from last year, this day up to today is something worth thanking God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's something worth thanking God of the founder. It's not your strength or my strength. It is you, it is him who has secured you and me. He has brought you and brought me so that we may protect together in this joy. While behind the servant of God, Emmanuel Kea Mzungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, yuko. He's there. It's only the strength of standing up for a long time. But God continues to strengthen him. And he's together with her. Amen. His spirit is together with her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if you take eggs to him, that he may buy, that he may get body strength, that's something remaining. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So we have been brought. It's a day of joy. It's not a day of grief. Even if you are grieved, then you are surprised. People. people are cheering the birth of the child. But then you are grieved. I, be I believe there isn't anyone who is grieved here. Everyone has great joy. Because this is a very good day. That God has seen that we are eating Christmas or celebrating Christmas out of our family every year. But God has wanted everyone this year yake. to celebrate the Christmas with his family. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why today everyone is at the altar. After the service they go to their home. They may spend the rest of the day in their home. And you who is maybe at home here, you are most welcome. Hallelujah. 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 But God has planned that way. We have been coming here every year. Oh, my son, every year you're not together with us. Okay, now you've been given a chance. You go, you go and celebrate your Christmas with your parents and your siblings. Even when we come from here, we are going everyone to his own respective homes. Amen. This is a year of great joy more than all years. This is a year of great joy more than all other years that we have had. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God has given us rest. He has given us great joy of a lot of air to come in everywhere. There's no commotion here. Everything. Paul is saying, let us thank God in everything. Because all that is the will of God the Father. Amen. Amen. One may be murmuring that where am I given this accommodation? One is maybe complaining that why am I given this food to me? One is complaining that I've been given bones from the snake. Okay, everyone to have peace. We are going to eat legs of a chicken that is at your home. We have been given rest from all this plotting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't know whether I've been given a condition of address. Oh, there is a smell of water. I have come on Mutaru. If it is in a trench at your home, for you. great joy. Why don't you thank God for that? Amen. Amen. We have been given rest for many things. And again, we are learning something. Hallelujah. 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 We have been given a lot of rest. 
Tena tunajifunza. Again, we are Inaamini baada ya mkutano huu and I believe after this service tutakuwa na mambo mapya. We shall have new things. Na mipango mipya. A new plan. Kupitia na mtumishi wa Mungu. Through the servant of God. Haleluya. Haleluya. Tutakuwepo. Maana Mungu wetu si wa mizigo. Because our God is not a God of burdens. Alikuja kutupumzisha Bwana Yesu mizigo. He came that is Jesus came to give us relief in burdens. Sasa hii corona hii. So this corona ni Mungu amekuja kutufunza. It is God has come to give us some lessons. Anataka tujifunze. He want us to learn. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mizigo mingine. Some other burden. Mizigo mingine. And some other burden. Tuangalie. Ah, we have to look. Bona mkutano umepita. Why is it that we are so full? Without this disturbance. Na huu, without this disturbance. mkutano waweza pita. And the crusade can pass. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bayo ni wokovu. So it is all salvation. Tufurahi maana tumeletewa wokovu. Let us rejoice because salvation has been brought to us. Tumeletewa wokovu. Let us rejoice because salvation has brought to us. Tufurahi kwa sababu tumeletewa wokovu. Let us rejoice because salvation has been brought to us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kabisa. Surely. Amen. Amen. Kama wewe huoni hivyo mimi naona hivyo. If you are not seeing that I'm seeing that. Ni mafundisho makubwa sana. This is a great teaching. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mana leo because today hata kama kuna mmoja amekuja even if there is anyone who has come mbali, from maybe far amejigarimikia mwenyewe kwa hoteli he has taken his own accommodation at the hotel inawezekana. so it is possible that way amen amen mtu kujigarimikia mwenyewe that you can uh, uh, pay for your own accommodation mana ni mzigo mkubwa jamani because the great burden my friend hallelujah 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 ni mzigo mkubwa it is a great burden hata tukiondoka hapa when we leave this home huwa tumeachia office mzigo mkubwa we are leaving the office with a very great burden hata wanashinda watotoa watu in fact that if they how they are going to pay it haya ma hotel yote haya yote all these hotels we have here hiyo sadaka ambayo huwa tumeitoa kwa mkutano yote inaenda all the arms that we have given for the crusade all the accommodation we are left with nothing here Ah sasa oh now tujifunze let us learn mkutano ukifika when a crusade comes wewe unataka shalima gharama zako everyone to pay for his own accommodation wewe unataka sijui wapi gharama zako and you want to go anywhere for your own call amen amen hallelujah hallelujah wewe unataka shalima wewe if you want shalima you are Uganda or you are from Uganda Tanzania, you are coming from Tanzania Kongo, you are from Congo you unataka shalima are you want to go to shalima you want to stay there you want to stay there for 10 days shalima pesa zake ni hizi shalima the money for that hotel is this ah, then it is possible amen amen angaile sadaka tunatoa at the arm that we are giving ipeleke wahubiri may take preachers hallelujah 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 haya yule mwenye hiari okay anyone who is willing to come shule pale there is a school there and tumeomba shule pale na kuna mwingine ametoa nyumba yake another one has given his own house haya, willingly haya, wale, okay wale. Lakini wewe but you ambaye huwezi who you cannot shalima you want to go to shalima zako on your own course tupumzishe mzigo mtumishi that you may give rest to the son of god tunaweza but it's possible amen amen bwana hatuwezi is it not possible na tulianza hivyo tulianza hivyo and we began that way hallelujah hallelujah Amen. Amen. Ndio mimi nasema. That's why I'm saying. Mkutano huu umeleta wokovu. This crusade has brought a great Kisimba salvation. Ni corona lakini Mungu anataka atupumzishe mizigo. Mizigo. The reason is corona but God want to give us some rest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh mimi nilikuja. Oh I have come. Hata pale nilazwa. Oh where I was given Na a hotel. I have been taken to a hotel. Lakini but bona huyu mwingine why is it that this one kule, was taken there and I was given Haya to a hotel or you, chini, or you want a lower hotel ju, or you want a higher one haya. okay amen amen gharama zako on your own course mnakubaliana au mkubaliana are you in agreement with that or not Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Watakaya chini. You want a small simple hotel. Siku, or maybe 200 per day. Elifu, you want a thousand per day. Milioni kwa siku. You want a million per day. Haya. Okay. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio ni wokovu mkutano huu. That's why I'm saying it's a great salvation this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio na wauliza tena. That's why I'm asking you again. Hiyo unalikubali? Are you in agreement no, with that? Kubali. Or you are not in agreement with it? Makofi. Let us clap. <laughs> Corona imeleta kutushusha. Corona has made us to come down. 
Hata yule asiye kula muhogo na kalala even that one who does not eat cassava and sleep. Leo ana furaha ya kula muhogo na kulala. Today he is rejoicing when he eats cassava and sleeps. Maana mapato yamepungua. Because the earnings is now come down. Amen. Amen. Hata yule ambaye amezoea kuruka na ndege even that one who is used to fly leo ndege haina kwa kuenda tena today flights are no longer there hakuna kiwanja cha kutoa tena there are no airports that you can land. kutembea na gari so you are now able to travel with your cars na ameangalia akaona kumbe kutembea na gari gharama nchini kuna and you have seen ndege. it that traveling using your car is very cheap mwingine anaokoka hata saa hii so one is getting salvation even at this time haleluya haleluya ni furaha kubwa it is great joy haleluya haleluya Haleluya. Haleluya. Furaha kubwa. It is great joy. Kwa Mungu wetu, kwa wa God, tuletea wokovu for bringing a salvation. Njia ya corona. In a way of corona. <laughs> Anasema, he say, furahini katika Bwana siku zote. Rejoice in the Lord always. Kuna mabaya furahi. If there are evil things rejoice. Kuna mazuri furahi. If there are good things still rejoice. Na tukafurahi hivyo. And if we rejoice that way. Mwambie Bwana Yesu asante. And tell Jesus I thank you. Bwana umetuletea wokovu. Because of brother salvation. Simbo yako hii ya corona imetuletea wokovu. This corona pandemic has brought salvation. Mwambie Bwana Yesu asante. So we tell Jesus thank you. Anaisafisha dunia nzima. He will clean the whole world. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anayeondoa kabisa. He will remove it completely. Bwana anajua wanangu wamejifunza. Because he knows that my children have learned something. Wana furahi mimi nawapenda. They rejoicing that I love them. Bwana anasema gongo langu na fimbo langu. Because he says my club and my sword lina fariji. Is comforting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sasa hilo gongo ataliondoa sasa. So he's going to remove that. Bwana anajua wamenishukuru. Because he knows that they have thanked me. Tena wameona na wapenda. And again they have seen that I love them. Wamekubali kukemewa ambako nimewakemea. They have re- accepted the rebook that I've rebooked them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ataliondoa. So he removed the corona. Tutaanza kutembea kwa amani. And he will begin movements peacefully. Mwaka ukianza kuendelea. Coming the next year onward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tukishukuru Mungu na kufurahi. While thanking God and rejoicing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Mana mwana alizaliwa because the child is born. Aokoe watu na dhambi zao. To save all the people with their sins. Amezaliwa kwetu. So if we start is born to us, na dhambi. That he may save us from sin. Atupe furaha. That he may give us joy. Na amani. And peace. Na ndio tuko nayo leo. And that's what we have today. Hakuzaliwa alete huzuni. He's not born to give Azila, us grief. Alizaliwa. He was born. Alete furaha. That he may bring joy. Ndio Biblia inasema. That's what the Bible says. Yusufu akaambiwa. Joseph was told. Wewe unawaza kumwacha mkeo. You are thinking of forsaking your wife. Mana ameambiwa ana mimba. Because it is said she is conceived. Usimwache maana hiyo mimba hiyo. Do not forsake her because that womb. Ni kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu. Is by the ability of by the power of the Holy God. So go and take your wife Mary. Uende naye. And go with her. Usimkaribie. Do not come closer to her. Atakapozaliwa hiyo mimba. Until when the child is born. Maana mimba hiyo because that womb ni kwa uwezo wa Roho Mtakatifu. It is by the power of the Holy God. Na alikuwa anawaza kumwacha. And he was thinking of leaving her. Maana Yusufu alikuwa ana hofu na Mungu. Because Joseph was a just man. Mimi nimechumbia msichana. I'm engaged to a girl. Hata mahari sijapeleka. I've not even paid the dowry. Anaambiwa ana mimba. And he said that she's conceived. Kivip. How? Akawa anazimia kumwacha. So he was intending to forsake her. Mimba imetoka wapi? Where is the womb coming from? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini usiku akaambiwa. But during the night he was told. Usimwache mwana mkeo. Do not forsake your wife. Maana hiyo mimba because that womb ni furaha kubwa ndani yake. It is great joy. Mwana aliye ndani ni mwokozi. Because the child that is in is the savior. Tazama mwana. Give birth to a child. Utamuita bwana Yesu. And he'll call his name Jesus. Mwana ataokoa watu wake. Because he's going to save his people. Na zao. From all their sins. Aliye dhambini. Whoever is in sin. Hukumu hiyo itamuondokea. That judgment will go away from him. Akimwamini bwana Yesu. And when he believes in Jesus Christ. Akaamka asubuhi. So he woke up in the morning. Akamfuata twende nyumbani. And follow Mary and take her home. Amen. Amen. Twende nyumbani. Let us go to my home. Na alikuwa anawaza kumwacha kwa njia ya siri. And he was intending to forsake her secretly. Sikwa ku, si kumnena mabaya. Not by talking evil of her. Mapana. No. Sikwa kumwaibisha. Not by shaming her. Pole pole tu. Very secretly. Amwache. That he forsakes her. Hata akiuliza kuna nini? Ah, and when he is asked what the problem? Ni mimi tu dhamiri yangu imenisaidia. It is just my consciousness that I felt that Naona I should forsake her. That is think I made a mistake. Amen. Amen. Maana alikuwa mtu anamcha Mungu. Because he was a man who was fearing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Some of Matthew. Read from the book of Matthew. Moja, na moja. Chapter 1 verse 21. Tayo moja. Matthew chapter 1. Mstari wa na moja. Verse 21. Akawa anaazimia kumwacha. He was intending to forsake her. 
Alléluia. Alléluia. Sommet. Naye atazaa mwana, nawe utamwita jina lake Yesu, maana yeye ndiye atakayewaokoa watu wake na dhambi zao. And she shall bring forth a son and thou shall call his name Jesus for he shall save his people from their sins. Nawe utazaa mwana, and we give birth to a child. Atazaa mwana, she will give birth to a child. Utamwita jina lake Bwana Yesu. You will call his name Jesus Christ. Ataokoa watu wake na dhambi zao. He will save his people from their sins. Ataokoa watu wake na dhambi zao. He will save his people from their sins. Kwa hivyo dhambi zako, so you are sins. Bwana Yesu alizaliwa Jesus was born ili akuokoe that he may save you. Ili akuondolee that he may remove them from you. Ndio maana That's why we ought to rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tabu zako all your problems Bwana Yesu Jesus Christ alizaliwa was born ili aziondoe that he may remove them. Kwa hivyo furahi. So rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio natupasa furahi furaha kubwa katika mioyo yetu. That we should all rejoice great Joyfully in your heart. Mana bana Yesu alizaliwa. Because Jesus Christ was born. Atokoe, that he may save us. Na zetu. From all our sins. Na dhambi zetu. From all our sins. Na kila hukumu ayondoe. And from any condemnation that he may remove. Ateregeshe kuwa wana kwa Mungu. That he may make us to be children of God. Uhusiano na Mungu auregeshe. The relationship with God may be returned. Ambao Shetani alikuwa ameuvunja. That the devil had broke. Kwa kutushirikisha dhambi. By putting us in sin. Ndio inatupasa tufurahi mchana wa leo. That's why we all ought to Rejoice this day, and the whole world is celebrating. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Mana bana yes, because Jesus Christ. Alikuja, who came, to come and save us from our sins. Save me from my own sins. The hatred from my parents. Darao kwa wazazi. Despising my parents. Ndio maana leo that's why today ni muzima. I have my life. Maana yeye alikuja because he came kwa wenye dhambi. To all sinners. Alizaliwa. He was born. Atuokoe. That he may save us. Maovu yetu. From all our iniquities. Ndio mama juicy. That's why the wise men. Wa from wakapata habari hizo. From the east got this information. Kwamba kuna mwokozi. That there is a savior. Aliyezaliwa. Who is born. Aondoaye dhambi ya watu. Who can remove the sins of the people. Atakayeokoa ulimwengu. Who will save the whole world. Na maovu yao. From all their iniquities. Ah, Wakafurahi. So they rejoice greatly. Amen. Amen. Wakafurahi furaha kubwa sana. They rejoice greatly. Sasa siri kubwa. So the greatest secret. Unamfuata kweli bwana Yesu. You are following Jesus Christ. Lakini siri kubwa but the greatest secret Jee wamfuataje how are you following him Jee ni kwa furaha is it with great joy amen amen yeza kwa kweli unafuatana na watu wa Mungu maybe you are following people of god hata wamfuata kweli bwana Yesu even you are following Jesus Christ wamfuata kweli la Mungu you are following the word of god nikufikishe kwa mwana that he may reach to the child lakini si kwa furaha but not with a lot of joy ni kwa kulazimika you are just forth huko moyoni wanungunika in your heart you are murmuring amen amen Haleluya. Haleluya. Ndio wewe wamfuataje bwana Yesu? Why are you, how are you following Jesus Christ? La Yesu alifuataje? And how are you following the word of Jesus? Ni kwa furaha? Is it with great joy? Au ni kwa huzuni? Or maybe with a lot of grief? Maana anaokoa kweli? Because he really said Tena anasamehe kweli? And he's forgiving them. Lakini anategemea. But it depends. Je, wamfuata kwa furaha? Are you following him with great Neno joy? Furaha ndio kitu Mungu anataka. The word joy is the thing that God is looking at. Haleluya. 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 Yeza kwa unamfuata kweli? Maybe you are following him. Hata uwaje kuja kanisani. In fact don't stop coming to church. Hata uwaje kusikiliza la Mungu. You don't leave listen to the word Hata of God. Hata uwaje kutolea Mungu. You don't stop offering to Hata God. Hata kutubu dhambi. You don't forsake confessing and repenting of sins. Nani, but in your heart si kwa furaha. Not with a lot of joy. Amen. Amen. Sasa hutafika kwa huyo mwana. So you will be able to reach to where the child is. Kwaaye dhambi. Who can save you from your sins? Anaye bariki. Who can bless? Anaye tia amani. Who can give you peace? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wafuata kweli la Yesu. You are following the word of Jesus. Unaandamana nalo kweli? You are pursuing the word of Jesus. Linalo sema the word that says Any wake etini waumezeni. All wives obey your husband. Maana ndio utataka kwa mwana atiae furaha manyumbani. That is the way you are going to reach the child who gives peace in the house. Hata wasikiliza wahubiri kila siku. So you are listening to preachers every day. Wanakuongoza tea. They are guiding you to obey. Mumilia. 
and persevere lakini wafanya hivyo but you are doing that lakini si kwa furaha but not with joy amen amen ndio maana unaweza kushangaa that's why you may be surprised mimi nafuata yesu i'm following jesus lakini mbona sifiki hiyo furaha wanasema why am i not able to reach the joy mbona sifiki huo uzima wanaosema why am i not reaching to the life they are saying wewe wafuataje la bwana yesu how are you following the word of jesus christ wafuataje mokozi how are you following the savior haleluya haleluya neno inaitwa furaha the word called joy ndio siri kubwa is the greatest secret there haleluya haleluya maana wale mama jusi wale because the wise men waliposikia habari Bethlehem ya Uyahudi when they had the information coming from Bethlehem kumezaliwa mwana that a child is born amen amen amelazwa katika zizi amelazaliwa katika zizi la ngombe he's born in a in a manger na amelazwa katika hori la ngombe and he's laid in a manger maana malazi hakuna because there's no room kulikuwa kumejaa there was no accommodation sasa wakata tafikaje huko so they were asking them how are we going to reach ana kule waliko ni mbali because where they were is very far wakawaza tutafikaje huko so they thought how are we going to reach there na tutakujueje kule mokozi aliko and how shall we know where the savior hata is until we reach him hata atubariki until he blesses us hata atuokoe until he saves us amen amen kukatokezea nyota so a star came out ya mashariki from the east hallelujah hallelujah walipoiona hiyo nyota hiyo they saw the star kinasema chuo the bible says walifurahi they rejoiced furaha kubwa greatly hata nyota ndio hii this is now the star wakaambiwa fateni hii nyota they were told now follow the star hiyo itakayowafikisha it will make you rich kwa yule mwana where the child is aokoaye watu na dhambi zao can save his people from his sin yule mwana naye bariki to that child who is blessing people kinasema biblia the bible is saying hiyo nyota hiyo that star walifuata they followed it kwa furaha kubwa with great joy wakaifuata they followed it wakaifuata they followed it wakaifuata they followed it hata inalenga kwenye pori wao wanapasua it was aiming at the forest they are going through the forest amen amen pale inalenga wanaenda why it is aiming they are going with it where they are aiming they are going with it hallelujah hallelujah inavuka bahari it is crossing the sea ah. yeah na wa, na meli iko hapo and the ship is there wana condition so they board it wanaifuata they follow the star pale inapotembea wanaifuata where the star goes they follow it amen amen wakaiona imesimama gi so eventually they saw it stopping bona haiendi tena why is it no longer moving wakasema wenyewe hapa they said knocking here na pale iliposimama and where the star stop hapana utukufu there is no glory hapana utukufu what there's no glory at all ah. yeah Papa ndio penye mwokozi hapa. This the place that the savior is born really. Wakasema hodi wenyewe. They said knocking here. Amen. Amen. Mwana wameangalia because they looked at it. Karibu ni saa nzima haiendi. It is almost one hour it is not moving. Haiendi. It is not moving. Wakabish so they knocked. Wenyewe knocking. Akasema karibu. They said welcome. Alipotoka when they came out ni Yusuf. It is Joseph. Ah. Haya. Okay. Watoka wapi? Where are you coming Sisi from? We are the wise men. Tuliambiwa kuna mwana amezaliwa. We were told that there's child that is born. Bethlehem ya Uyahudi. From Bethlehem Judea. Na tumeona nyota. And we have seen the star. Ya mashariki. From the east. Ndio imetuongoza. It has guided us. Paka imesimama ndio. Now it has stopped is there. Tukaona anaona hapa ndio kuna mwana. So mwana. we thought this is the place the child Akawambia, is. Akawaambia mumefika, mumefika, mumefika. So he told them you have reached, you have reached, you have reached. Mumefika karibuni, karibuni. You have come, you have come, welcome, welcome. Mwana karibuni. Welcome, come and see the child. Ah. Yeah? Na furaha, so they entered with a lot of joy. Tumefika. So we have arrived. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So they entered in. Tusome. Read for us. Matayo huyo huyo mbili. Same, the same book of Matthew chapter 2. Kuanzia mstari wa 9. From verse 9. Ah. Yeah? Nyota ya mashariki. They start from the east. It's guiding them. Na nyota iko hata leo. And the, where is the start today? Nyota iko hata leo. Where is the start today? Ya kuongoza wewe. That guiding you. Ufike kwa mwana. That you may reach the child. Yule wa baraka. The child of blessing. Yule wa uzima. The child of life. Yule wa amani manyumbani. The child of peace in your house. Yule ashindie wewe watu dhambi. That can make you overcome sin. Katika ujana wao. In your youthhood. Na katika uzee wao. And in their old age. Yuko nyota hiyo iko paka kesho. That star is there even tomorrow. Tusome. You read for us. Matayo mbili. Book of Matthew chapter 2. Mm-hmm. Nao waliposikia maneno ya mfalme, walishika njia na tazama ile nyota walioiona mashariki ikiwa, ikiwatangulia hata ikaenda ikasimama juu ya mahali alipokuwapo mtoto. Nao walipoiona ile nyota, walifurahi furaha kubwa mno. 
wakaingia nyumbani wakamuona mtoto pamoja na Mariamu mamaye wakaanguka wakamsujudia nao walipokwisha kufungua hazina zao wakamtolea tunu dhahabu na uvumba na manemane when they had heard the king they departed and lo the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was and when they saw the star they rejoiced with exceedingly exceedingly great joy and when they were come into the house they saw the young child with Mary his mother and fell down and worshiped him and when they had opened their treasures they presented unto him gifts gold frankincense and myrrh hallelujah hallelujah walipoiona nyota so when they saw the star walifuraha kwa furaha kubwa mno they rejoice exceedingly walipojua ya kwamba when they knew that na walipoambiwa nyota hii and when they were told that this star it is the one that will make you rich where the child is walifurahi furaha kubwa they rejoiced exceedingly they didn't follow the star with grief they didn't follow the star with murmuring why is it taking us to the forest amen amen hata katika msitu wanapasua where the forest is they are going through maji wanavuka where there is water they go through the ambapo ni waingie gharama wa kodisha pikipiki wanakodisha wanaenda yeah maybe they have to board motorbike they do it and go haleluya haleluya nyota iko hata leo so the star is there even today nyota ni neno la Mungu the star is the word of god amen amen nyota the star ya kukufikisha wewe na mimi that can reach you and me ufike kwa yule wa barikie bwana yesu that can reach where the, the blesser is na kwa yule yesu aponyaye and to that jesus who is healer na atiaye amani mani mani and give his peace in the house ni neno lake is this word ninasema which says ngameni dhambi nini kwa nini confess your sins one to another je walifuata hilo are you following that kwa furaha with joy amen amen au ni kwa sababu ugonjwa umekaza or maybe it's because the disease is with you ndio walazimika kusema maneno yao that why you are forced to confess lakini kule moyoni but in your heart una neno aib you have this word shame haleluya haleluya sasa utaona so you see that haleluya haleluya hii nyota hii this star haitakufikisha kule it's not reaching you there because you don't follow the joy haleluya haleluya ndio siri ni kwamba that's why the secret is wafuataje la yesu how are you following the word of jesus amen amen unafuataje how are you following Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Je, ni kwa furaha? Is it with great joy? Tusomee tena hapa. You read for us again the same verse. Mfalme akawaambia, The king told them, Haya ninyi endeni. Okay, you go. Lakini mkienda mkimuona mwana. But when you see the child. Haya murudi. Okay, come back. Nami niende nikamsujudie. So that I can also go and worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kukatokea nyota. But then a star came out. Maana hawajui ni wapi. Because they never knew the place. Ni Bethlehem ya Uyahudi lakini ni wapi? It is Bethlehem Judah but where is it exactly? Katika hiyo Bethlehem. In Bethlehem. Ni muji, ni mahali gani? In which home? Ni nyumba gani? In which house? Kuliko na yule mwana. Where the child is? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nyota ikatokezea mashariki. So the star came out. Ikawaongoza. It guided them. Ikawaongoza. It guided them. Kijana wataka ushinde tamaa za lana. Young man you want to overcome the last of cars? Nyota iko. The star is there. Inasema. What say? Heshimu baba yako na mama yako. Honor your father and your mother. Amen. Amen. Duniani upate heri. For, for you to be blessed in the Ukai world. siku nyingi hapa duniani. That you may live long in this earth. Maonyo ya baba. The warning from the, the maonyo father. Maonyo ya mama. And the warning from Kwa the mother. Kwa nini umechelewa? Why are you getting glad? Amen. Amen. Na masaa ni saa 12. And you are supposed to come at 6. Umechelewa wapi? Where have you come? Where Ufraie have you come? maonyo hayo. So you rejoice in those Ufraie warnings. kukemewa huko. Rejoice that rebuking. Utashinda tamaa. You are going to overcome. Utamshinda shetani. You are going to overcome the devil. Lakini watukia maonyo. But then you are angered with those warnings. Utafika kwa mokozi. You will not be able to reach where the savior is. Aokoe na watu na tamaa za ujanani. Who saves all the people with the last of their youth age? Mimi zikawa zimenishinda. My last was overcoming me. Maana sina heshima kwa wazazi. Because I had no honor zikanifanya paka nikacheza na shangazi it made me to bump with my, my aunt amen amen lakini but nyota ikatokezea mashariki the star came from the east hallelujah hallelujah neno la mungu kupitia na missionary na wahubiri wake the word of god from missionary and his preachers hallelujah hallelujah nikaifuata i followed it nikaifuata i followed it nikaifuata i followed it kwa furaha with great joy kwa furaha with great joy kunena manyonga yangu with all my weaknesses kama dhambi zangu confessing my sins na dharau zangu kwa wazazi and all my despise from my parents nikaifuata i followed it nikaifuata i followed it nikaifuata i followed it nikaifuata i followed it paka bado nafuata 
even to them six following. I am very safe. This is my 44 year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I am very safe. This is my 44 years. Because they never followed the star with regret. When I heard that in Mariakani, there is a, a son of God, his name is Elisha. And he's teaching people. Even if the disease is growing, once you believe and you don't hide your weakness, you will be healed, you be healed, you be healed. So I desire when am I reaching there? I desire when am I reaching there? I rejoice even before coming to Maria Kani. When I was at my home there, I rejoice that word confessing my sins. And there was no such teaching there. There was no other teachings. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But you, the one who testified to me, is my brother. He's in Kilifi. A son of my uncle. His name is Yuta San Munga. He lived here, he was a painter here. With brother Kruger. And elder Pius. Until they went to Taveta painting the church. He's in Kilifi currently. He was a teacher. Primary school. Today he's retired. He has his home there. Amen. Amen. 